to get started, um, you need to look at your rough draft drawing and you need to visualize what are um, the basic shapes for your body parts because you're going to be shaping those individually out of newspaper. So when I look at my design, I know that I'm going to need a tube that's going to make these tentacles. And then I might start out by sculpting a round ball um, for my headpiece. And then I might attach a wavy piece to the outer side. So you need to be able to break this down. Is it a circle? Is it a cone? Is it an egg shape? Um, to get started. So what I'm going to be doing is making three individual tentacles. So I want to twist this to get these things tight. Um, the key to building your armature, which is your inside piece, is that everything has to be packed up really, really tight to begin with. So you're going to be needing masking tape um, to secure things. So what I want you to do is take a piece of tape and stretch it out and then tear that and pass your roll to the next student. Then you're going to tear this down into uh, smaller pieces that maybe it's like the length of your thumb or the from your middle finger to the palm of your hand and then you're just going to set this tape on the edge of your desk and I would have that pre-cut or torn so that this tape is prepared ahead of time ready for you to start to secure your pieces together so I'm going to twist this and then I'm going to lay a piece of tape over the edge to hold that twist so I'm just going to do that in a couple of spots. Okay, so now um, I need to decide how wide and thick do I need to get the tentacle. Okay. So at the base, this might become the bottom part here where I'm going to make another smaller piece that's going to get attached to the end of it. So now I just might take another sheet of paper and twist this. So this is why it is helpful to have your tape ready ahead of time because now when I let go, it's going to untwist because I don't have my tape prepared. Um, so I would line the edge of your desk with the tape. Have that pre-torn and ready to go before you start shaping. Um, but now my little tentacles that are going to get smaller at the end might be this one. That I then attach to the end of this. So it becomes twice as long. So now if I'm going to be connecting something, I do want to use a little more tape. Um, it's better to lay the tape vertical or lengthwise from one piece to the other and one piece to the other. And then you might um, wrap in between the two to make them connect it a little more strong. Okay, so this might be one of my tentacles that I'm going to be working with. Um, so I want my tentacle to kind of curve up at the base. So that's not going to hold just by the newspaper. So I'm going to need to add a piece of wire to this. So I'm going to um, figure out how much wire do I need. So you're going to need to bring your object over to the wire station. And I'm going to kind of measure so it's similar in length. And then to cut the wire, I'm going to be using my pliers, and you're not going to be able to squeeze through this. What you're going to need to do is bend with one hand the wire and squeeze with the other, and then you're just going to kind of bend back and forth or in a circle, and eventually it's going to pop, but it is kind of tricky. So bend and kind of wiggle on both sides. Okay, so now this wire... I'm going to be taping to the outside of that tentacle so that I can bend the shape. So I need my tape prepared. I 
Okay, so now I'm just going to take that tape and tape it across the wire and attach it to my tentacle. And now I can really bend and shape this any which way I want. And it'll stay in that position because of the wire. So if I want the bottom of my tentacle to kind of be in this shape, I need the wire to be able to do that. So then I'm going to proceed to build three more of these um, for my leg section here. If you need to be making a ball or an egg shape, you want to open up a single sheet of newspaper, then crumple it so it's packed as tight as it goes. Then open up your next sheet, and then you're going to roll this and pack it up as tight as it goes. And you're going to proceed to do this until it's the size that it needs to become. And then what you'll do is you'll just secure the outer edges so that they, um, the paper doesn't unfold. So now I'm just going to kind of tape this down and tape that down. And that's all I need to hold that ball shape. And then I would keep wrapping and adding to it if it needs to get bigger. What I don't do is I don't crumple an entire sheet, or rather an entire section of newspaper. I'm not going to squish that because see how this doesn't become round? That's only going to become round when you do it a single sheet at a time. But if you need to make something that's a tube, you could either twist it like I did for my tentacle, or you can take a sheet of newspaper and roll it tight. But the key is you have to get it tight because it needs to be compact. Um, so that's not going to be thick enough. Then I'm going to keep rolling and adding in thickness. So this might be how you build an arm or a leg. Um, so if this needs to become wider, then what I would do is crumple up and then just start taping these crumpled pieces to that area to start to build out that wide portion. So maybe it's something like a leg where the thigh of the leg is thicker than the bottom portion of the leg. So then you just want to kind of beef up um, the thick spots with a little more newspaper. Uh, so this is the beginning stage of building your armature. Um, you want to do it in sections. Build the legs separate, build the arms separate, the head, the body, and then we'll be piecing all this together and I'll show you how to do that in a later video, but you have to get your basic body parts shaped to begin with, squish them tight, use tape to secure it, um, and then at the end of class I'm going to be giving you a plastic bag to store all your pieces in um, and then you'll just be putting your name on that bag so we know whose bag is who um, and that's how you're going to store things at the end of class today. Newspaper that you did not use, please lay it flat again because when you put it back in the box, flat newspaper is going to fit more one on top of the other than if you just had a wad of newspaper like this. It's not going to fit back in the box easily. So just kind of do your best to flatten things back out. If you have extra tape that is pre-torn that you haven't used, I'm going to collect that from you and um, I'm going to store that so that you can use those pre-cut strips next class.